In this episode, my friends, we're going to use ChatGPT to forecast time series using AI. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the, the Amazon revenue and we're going to ask ChatGPT to send me back my Excel. And I'm going to tell you what are the limitations today, if you should use it to improve your forecast accuracy, if AI is going to take your job and what are the new features coming very soon. All right, so first of all, I recommend you to download this file and you can really practice with me. It's very important if you never use ChatGPT and Excel to start using it. So in my version of ChatGPT, we can now upload file. For that, you need to have at least the version ChatGPT 4 plus. If you don't see this button, you need to activate in parameters. So to activate this feature, you just have to go to the left. You go to options, setting and beta. You go to beta features and you have to activate code interpreter. Okay, it's very important you do that. When you go back, you can upload a file. So now let's do the forecast. You can click to upload the file. We're going to upload the file that you can download below the video. And we're going to ask the question. What is the question? Give me the next five years forecast of Amazon revenue from the data history tab, Amazon revenue, please. So it's very important to be uh, nice and gentle with uh, AI because maybe one day they're going to take the control of the planet and they will remember that Edward was a nice guy and they will maybe uh, leave me alone. Okay, so now you can press start. We're going to see the magic of AI and ChatGPT. So you can see the work is doing is basically using Python, which is good. So if you want to use Python directly, you can copy and paste the code, which is super powerful. For most of you, I guess you are not using Python, but just to let you know. And you told me, oh, you see, there is a, I was not very specific. It was a capital R for Amazon revenue tab. So we found that, which is really, really smart. If you do a macro today, for example, you won't, if you have the wrong spelling, it will, it will just not work and it won't tell you why. So it's, this is really, really smart. If you want, for example, uh, use it for data consolidation. I'm very excited about the next uh, version of it. All right, so now we can see the graph, which is pretty cool. Now we can see graph. It looks completely accurate. You can see the, the exponential growth of Amazon the last 14 years, which is pretty impressive. And you can see there is a seasonal pattern for Q4 with Christmas. So now it's telling me, okay, I want to use the profile library from Facebook. So it's funny because I already, you, I, I try multiple times to forecast the same data set and I always have, not always, I have multiple, uh, <laughs> multiple solutions and uh, that, and of course, yeah, he's going to tell me, yeah, he tried before like, oh, the profile library, this is a model from uh, the Facebook group. It's not available, so he's going to move to another one, Sarima, which, which is seasonal autogressive integrate moving average. This is a way to forecast. If you want to know more about the different uh, forecasting model, you can check below and ask me. Uh, I'm going to publish more uh, YouTube videos very soon. All right, so now you can see the details of the revenue with the trend, the level, the seasonality and the residual, which is pretty cool. And now you have this graph and this forecast looks pretty accurate. I mean, the, the red one. Uh, so you have the, the details of this. I know he's asking you, OK, do you want to have the breakdown? You say, yes, I want the breakdown. Go for it. You can do it and you will have much more details. If you don't know, if you don't understand what is that, you can also ask a question. Can you be more specific? Now it's giving you the table. So just to let you know, sometimes you don't have the, the answer directly. Sometimes it will ask you, oh, which forecasting model do you want to use? Just tell him, use the best one <laughs> or use the one with the best forecast accuracy. Uh, sometimes you won't have, uh, it will block. So you can tell him, try again. Uh, you have to be gentle with this uh, guy to make sure he gives you the, the right answer. You will sometimes have a different result, but the, the idea is really to practice and learn how to use uh, this uh, way of working with AI. So now I have this, but I would ask him, send me the Excel file with all data history. You have, you have to be specific. History, forecast, interval, and graph. And now he's going to send you back the Excel file, which is amazing. It's pretty cool. Like a few months ago, it was not possible. And now it's possible. I'm quite impressed. All right. So now we do have the file. You just click here. And we're going to check what is inside. We do have the revenue and we do have the forecast. So it's not in the same type. You could ask him like, oh, I want to have it in the same type. So let's go back, combine all data in the same tab and also add Excel formula. That would be great, right? 
because I would like to have the formula, then I, I don't need the ChatGPT again and I can focus directly into Excel. All right, so now it's done. Da, da, da. It can be a bit long to generate this, to be honest. So you have to be patient sometimes. Let's give it a try. I know we do have everything into one tab, right? So this is, yeah, but we don't have the forecast. <laughs> Too bad. So we have the historical, but we don't have the, yeah, we don't have the next five years forecast. So sometimes it's working, sometimes it doesn't work. I'm gonna show you my version. Uh, this is the version I got uh, last time with this and the graph. The graph was also different, uh, but at the end it was good to to see the difference, to see that it's very powerful. You can ask a lot of questions. Uh, you can ask him to explain. Sometimes get lost, but I can really see a strong evolution uh, uh, over the last few months only about how to use ChatGPT. So now let's do the same with Excel, right? So with Excel, I'm going to do it in one click. I'm going to select this colon and this colon. I'm going to go to Data, Forecast Sheet. And I have my forecast. You can decide how many. I'm, I'm going to go the next five years. You have multiple options. I did a full tutorial video for time series forecasting. Uh, you can check my YouTube video uh, below uh, below this uh, link. And we're going to generate this forecast. I know I do have my forecast. So it's a very similar forecast. I'm not using Sarima. This is a triple exponential smoothing. I won't have time to explain today. Uh, but just to let you know, this is almost the same. And if you really want to know, you should check the forecast accuracy of ChatGPT versus your Excel forecast. You can check my video about how to track forecast accuracy if you want to go deeper on this topic. So now let's talk seriously. What are the limitations of ChatGPT? The first one, data privacy. Uh, because you are sending this Excel spreadsheet to a company you don't really know, and many companies in the world say it's forbidden to use ChatGPT because uh, the data privacy is not clear. Uh, we have a solution for that. I'm going to talk about it after. The speed as well. The speed was quite long. I had to, to be honest, to accelerate this video. I did multiple tests. Sometimes it went wrong, so I had to repeat. I had some uh, problem also with the, um, the availability of ChatGPT uh, of the server. And sometimes my there is always a single answer. It looks like this is the right one, but sometimes the answer is not correct. And it's not always perfect, so you have to try multiple times and we don't have one unique answer for one data set. Just give a try twice, you will see you will have probably two different answers. And you have a poor integration with Excel and software. You have to uh, come back to ChatGPT download, which is very, very not efficient. When you focus like me, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 products, you don't have time to do this kind of uh, uh, way and back uh, between the different softwares. But there is solutions for these limitations coming very soon called Copilot in Excel. This is the new features coming from Microsoft again, very active in the uh, AI uh, uh, ecosystem. And you will be able to have directly your Copilot, your ChatGPT basically, uh, into Excel with a much better and efficient integration. And you will be able to talk and you will generate graph analysis, which is very, very efficient. So you can uh, check on YouTube. I'm going to put the link below the video as well if you want to check of uh, these new features coming. It looks very impressive always. It won't do all the job for you, but it is a good assistant to help you to generate a more uh, beautiful and efficient uh, way to work and analyze your data. Will AI take my job? I don't think it will take my personal job, but when you see the evolution, this is an exponential evolution starting from the the number of transistors in the microchip, the Moore's laws that are able to really train all these new models. And today we are here. This is the AI intelligence and performance. And I can tell you, I've been using these tools for the last two years and I'm really, I'm not impressed of what they're doing today, but by the speed of evolution. And I, I can't tell you what is going to happen in the next two and five years, but it's going to be super fast, super smart and super intelligent. And maybe not AI is going to take your job, but for sure someone more efficient using AI may take your job in the next few years. So you should definitely uh, be part of the winners for every transformation and innovations. We do have winners that have more attractiveness, high salaries, fun and freedom to choose their job. Many people will have a lot of opportunities because they know how to use it to transform and have more performance and efficiency and they will have attractiveness, high salary, fun and freedom to choose the job they want. And on the other side, you will have a lot of people that will lose their job because they are not efficient enough, they are not uh, skilled enough and not performing well and they will face competition, stress and uh, low salary. So my, my job is, uh, to be honest, I feel we are just here. We are just at the beginning of this acceleration. It's going to be intense, exciting 
and to be honest as well stressful sometimes and i really want to to help you and to uh, support a new generation of experts and leaders that will reinvent more efficient and regenerative uh, supply chains and uh, companies so that's my goal and if you want to go deeper in the forecasting process i do not believe that chat gpt or ai will do the full process for us this is not only about the tools the tools is important but this is all about having the right methods the right communication with humans because we do have a lot of humans in the forecasting process from defining goals to transforming data to choosing the right forecast model forecasting measuring reviewing and also leading all the transformation and the automation in your uh, company. So if you want to go further and become an expert, I have a lot of free methods and tutorials and a new workshop coming soon. Check below the video. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you want to see more AI tools and way to improve your performance, your forecasting and your supply chain. And I see you very soon.